It's Sway in the Morning. Only from Shade 45. Sway in the Morning, Shade 45. Mario Van Peoples is here with us this morning. He got Mandela Van Peoples with us as well. Yeah, yeah. His son. It's a great name. Man, that's a powerful name. Right. Why you put all that pressure on your son? <laughs> he can handle it. He can handle it? He can it? handle it. Boy named Sue. He can handle, <laughs> he can handle it? Yeah. What was it like growing up with the name Mandela Van Peoples, first and last name? As soon as someone older than 30 hears my name, it's always, wow, you got a lot to live up. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's a damn shame that people under 30 don't know who Mandela is. Yeah, I mean, maybe they don't, or they do, they just don't say it. They don't, don't see the connection, yeah. yes. Wow. Yeah, but tell them where you were this summer. Uh, I was in South Africa, actually, uh, tutoring kids in uh, Johannesburg and Cape Town. Tutoring them, kids and Joan. What are you, 17, right? Yeah. Well, who, what the hell? Was, did your father make you do that? Or is that something you wanted to do? Or? I wanted to do it. Just, just so I could have something to talk on, you know. What How was that experience for you when you came home? It was dope. I mean, I had a blast. I mean, I got robbed in Johannesburg. <laughs> what? So what? I don't know about that. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, just, I mean, Cape Town was straight, but then we went to Johannesburg, and then on the last night in uh, Johannesburg, I guess. Somebody found out there was a bunch of Americans kids staying in this college and they just like melted the bars and just Broke in and then uh, I just woke up. I was like, yo, what's what's going on? And My roommate <laughs> was like, yo, we're getting robbed. And I look up these three black dudes and was like, yo, where's the laptops and the money, dude? I'm like, oh, oh my god. god. So he called me up. He said, he said, have you looked down the barrel of a gun? I said, nah. He said, well, I have. <laughs> wow. And then so, so. Oh my God. Wait, 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 here's, the, here's the funny part. Mario Van Peoples is here with his son Mandela. You seem like a proud dad that your son yes. got robbed. <laughs> you know, no, you know what I was proud of? You know what I was proud of was he called me, he said, man, I just feel like I'm lucky to be alive. You know, I appreciate what we have. He's like, dad, I love you. Then he called me earlier. He was messing with my head, but he it was true. He said, I, I got bit by a lion today. <laughs> <laughs> what did you, oh, you were cracked up. No, I did, though. How what you get back with the lion? Who are you right now, some man? Cute little baby <laughs> lions and stuff, and one just bit me. Show me you got the picture? He got the Where did he bite you, though? Did he bite you on the ass? Leg. Okay, okay. He's cute, though. He was cute. Oh, you wow. went through a lot. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> man. Hey, yeah. um. Uh, Damn, the vampire. So, you know, what it's you constant. do is you get out and get that experience. You know, mm-hmm. part of it is like, don't just stay in America, go travel. You know, go some, go other places. Give back, give forward, give sideways. Mm-hmm. You know, and in and, and mix it up. You know, wow. and then you get a different perspective on humanity. That's part of it. And then you see, you can't do films with life in them unless you have some life that unless you've you lived. It, you got to right. live some life to put it in your work. I think there's three loves in life: mm-hmm. love what you do. You know. Love who you do it with and try to love what you say with it. And with We the Party, we got to do all three. We the Party yeah, is the guys. movie. This is yeah. the first movie you put your son in? Dude, he he took it. This this is this is actually based on stuff that he was doing. Tell him how it started, son. Well, pretty much me and my siblings just, you know, got together. We was tired of these house parties. So we was like, Hey yo, we need to see this LA club life. Like what's what's with the, you know, teen clubs out and um we went to Pops. who was like, "Hey, yo, can can we get a ride to some of these and clubs?" And I was like, "Hell no, you can't go to no <laughs> damn club without me." Uh-huh. So, but if you bring me, you can go. <laughs> and you know that that ain't cool showing up to a club with your dad. <laughs> yeah. So we took it back to the drawing board. We was like, "How can we spin this?" You know, so we still get the save face and all. So we dressed him up in some skinny jeans, a snapback, and some no. campus Adidas. <laughs> Look, and let him walk in a little bit after us. Who was going to know? So I, I just went incognito as the world's oldest teenager. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And I started. I was like, first of all, the way they dance is like yeah. safe sex on the dance floor. Oh man, like, you last time know? we danced like that, yeah. I had him. You had him, <laughs> all right. right? And and so I started making notes like mad, and that became we the party. And uh-huh. so that's why the movie feels so real. And then we got Snoop and Snoop's son uh-huh. is in the movie. Uh-huh. We got P Diddy's son in the movie. The Wayans kids in the movie. Uh-huh. The kids from That's So Raven and, uh-huh. and Orlando Brown from you know uh, and uh, Hannah Montana. Who's uh-huh. that? Uh, Moises Arias. Uh-huh. And then what are the groups we got in the movie? Man, we got YG. We got the Rejects. We got oh, wow. New Boys. We got uh-huh. Pink Dollars. Snoop Dogg. Just a bunch of musical A lot talent. of L.A. music scene, right? Yeah, think, okay, like let's that. open up the phone lines. We got a yeah, lot of people think calling. Think House Party meets Breakfast Club. Like, think that kind of vibe. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You know. But 2012. It, like, 2012. Totally. I want to open up the phone lines. Yeah. Your family has such a rich history in film. Uh, and now the legacy continues <laughs> with Mandela. And I'm sure other of your children are going to um, join. First movie you were in, 
was Sweet Sweet Sweetbacks. Yeah. Badass song. That's right. My dad yeah. put me in his movie. Yep. And in that movie, you had a sex scene. Right. Right? We're going to find out if your son has a sex scene in this movie. Okay. Oh, God. It ain't <laughs> Shade 4 or 5, Sway in the Morning. One of my favorite movies of all time was New Jack City. Um, also, Sweet Sweetbacks Badass sweet, sweet. Song. That's a hell of a name, huh? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Oh, wow, y'all got all of it, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is so, a scene where Mario Van people at, what, 13 years yeah, old? Yeah, 12 was, or 13. 12 was banging I'd like out. To, I'd like to reshoot that now. Though. Yeah, yeah, because you... I'd do better. Yeah, you were whacking that bed, bedroom scene, but it was your first time having sex. <laughs> My heart hurt watching that scene. <laughs> your father, Melvin, put you in this scene. Now, he he's famous for having... Unsimulated sex scenes, right? Did he really have a? My scene? my dad's crazy. He's still he, he. We just saw him last night. My dad okay. is like, I still he's still an embarrassment. He's still a bad <laughs> brother. My dad is crazy. They got a crazy granddad, you know. Yeah, but, he was but, wearing but, like, like what, full orange, like straight out of Rikers Island. He full looked like orange. something about the Lorax <laughs> last night. Why you? The Lorax. <laughs> I know you got kids, man. He's at the Lorax. <laughs> but wow. no, my my dad is a he he he'll put anything together. He calls it Negro make do. Negro make do. <laughs> That's his new style. Negro, Negro make, make do. Yeah, but he's that. He's a, he, he, you know, my dad has a band now called Melvin Van Peebles and X Lax. Because uh-huh. he said, I don't never take no shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's my dad. That's crazy, I know. Man. There you go. Yeah, your dad, real. man. Uh, did you so actually, bad. you didn't actually have sex with no, that woman. That no, no, no. But you know what? You know, it's funny. Look, it's like being in a war and you lose part of your finger or something. That would be, uh-huh. that would be a drag. But the guy next to you gets shot. What laid, made an impression on me with Sweetback was my dad was standing up to have a multiracial crew mm-hmm. with Latinos and white folks and black folks together. And the unions tried to kill him. So that really, as I look back on what left an impression on me, seeing my dad stand up for stuff he believed in with his own money, mm-hmm. you know, and put his stuff on the line like that, that's what really I left with. Yeah. You know, yeah. that you can, that one man or one, one woman can make a change. Because mm-hmm. up until then, remember, Hollywood was really seeing us as the Motisa tribe in cinema, you know, yeah. Motisa, Motisa, you know, we the waiter yeah. class. And so when suddenly Sweetback <laughs> came and Sweet, Sweetback <laughs> made money mm-hmm. with a black lead, you know, then there was another movie about a white detective written by Ernest Teitelman. They changed it to black, and that became the movie Shaft. Mm-hmm. And wow. they got Isaac Hayes. So my dad had a secretary that was fine as heck. She was going to act in the movie, uh, but she had a boyfriend who had a new band called Earth, Wind, and Fire. And that's how Earth, Wind, and Fire. Oh, well, Maurice? Yeah. Maurice was her boyfriend? Yeah, yeah. So she, okay. had, she knew that Earth, Wind, and Fire. He said, I don't want you acting with Melvin, but I will do his music. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I do my son a lot better than my daddy did me. You okay. always got to improve. So, and we the party. Yeah, he's allowed to wear clothes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he has clothes on. So now, so it's kind of like you said a breakfast club, right? No, it's a, like house party. party like, okay. well, you know, think of house party means breakfast club. The, uh, Warrington saw it the other day and gave us a great, great quote about uh, we the party. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's live. It's 2012 though. It's all the stuff these got. These badass kids are growing up with a you know black president with you know young billionaires all this hyper materialism all the isms are still out there uh-huh. but and they can do really bad and really good really fast uh-huh. mm-hmm. and so Mandela plays the lead as Hendrix and the young lady who plays the romantic lead is uh, Simone Battle who you saw in X Factor. All right, so and, uh, now here was the question because mm-hmm. Melvin put Mario in a mm-hmm. sex scene first yeah. movie he ever did, dog. I mean that was a lot of pressure. <laughs> Standing. Is there a sex scene? Are you having sex in this movie? Nah, I'm sadly no. But <laughs> my, my lead was pretty <laughs> cute, you know. So I mean, it was cool. I want y'all to see the movie though. But uh-huh. there's some. It's pretty close though. They get pretty close. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty nice little scene. Okay. Oh and, but, but, but you know what? I have to tell you. No, but here's the thing. We 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 play. I'm a good wingman. All right. I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> no, we, we play. We play. Um, I, and I, when Mandela had to j- j- do the scene where he skinny dips with a girl and jump in the pool, and so the last take, I always do this. I say, okay, son, go ahead and Mandelify it. And basically, that means do you do whatever you want to do. And he's crazy funny. Mm-hmm. We and plus we don't just we don't really take our bodies that seriously. Okay. I mean, we try to stay in good shape. But look, if you take yourself seriously when you're ten, you got to take yourself seriously when you're ninety five and everything's uh-huh. flopping and dropping. Mm-hmm. So you know, you just you got to see this as a great vehicle for your soul. Yeah, do the best you can with it and yeah. move on and just keep it moving. Keep it moving. All right. So, look at this. He's still, but but Mandela is like look at you looking at your dad. Okay, so. Some of the issues that some of the um, the characters face in this movie, mm-hmm. you said they face a lot of serious. What are some of the issues that y- your character? Oh, faces? tell them about that whole thing with YG's character. <laughs> yeah, well, um, YG who plays CC and We the Party, um, he's a, he's a, he's like a 
he's always got the hoodie on and mm-hmm. you know he's got the the finger tats the neck tats the face tats the head tats and you know he's he's just a misjudged prejudged character and you know all the, all the people in the school just kind of avoid him don't want anything to do with him just because they're scared or whatever it is and um him and my character are put into a situation where we actually end up befriending each other Mm -hmm. and that's a cool thing because we actually see that he's a conscious person Mm -hmm. and it's cool to see that ending in the movie whereas in real life you know sadly Trayvon's case didn't end as well as it could have Mm -hmm. and we didn't get to see you know look Zimmerman didn't get to see look he just got skittles and a hoodie it was just but in YG's character, CeCe, we get to see, you know, okay, look, he's got another side to him. Yeah. And that's one of the, the cool things wow, about that's so the timely right Nobody now. Nobody dies. You know no yeah. one dies. And he winds up singing the song, uh, rapping the song called Truth, which was, you know, just on 106 Park and Park mm-hmm. last night. They dropped it. We premiered it over there. Yeah. And um, it, that's nice, man. So You, man, you got a there. glow on your face right man, now. You're, you're like a proud yeah. father Dude, right I'm having mad, yeah. I'm having mad fun, you know. Yeah. Like it's, you know, I, I, this is just a kind of a dream come true. Mm-hmm. But on the other side, you have to understand, I paid myself a dollar to direct it and ten dollars to write it it was not about the money i wanted to get hollywood's making sort of reductive cinema right now which is kind of goofing and buffooning kind of stuff Mm -hmm. and i think you should have some smart cool ass alternatives that feel real that that are dealing with real stuff Mm -hmm. like this movie how much did you pay your son by the way nothing (laughs) (laughs) but i work for it's a cold it's sway in the morning only on shape 45